Hi everyone, my name is Rav. Welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be doing uh, what's in the golf bag. Um, golf is a sport that I picked up a few years ago and I just learned to love the sport. Um, it's so addicting when you first start and plus you're outdoors, you're with nature, and it's just beautiful. The only thing is, I know it's expensive, but um, in my bag, I actually got a lot of stuff for good deals. So let's go right into it. Um, the reason why, I actually, first, the reason why I actually want to do a what's in the bag, it's because I know a lot of beginners are actually watching the, will probably be watching the video, or you know, even experienced golfers. We always like to know what people are using, what's working for them, and I'm not saying I'm good, because I'm honestly not, <clears throat> but I've, been, I've put a lot of money into it where I've played enough. Um, I've hit some good shots and I've hit terrible ones um, more times over. So let's go and start it off. And first I'll introduce, I'll introduce um, my driver. I still use a, it's an older model. It's probably two to two years old now. I use the Covert. Um, I don't know if it's a 2.0, but you can tell it has um, dings and scratches along the top of the club head because so you know that pretty much means uh, I still have novice tendencies um, when hitting uh, well making ball contact or uh, club head contact with the ball um, so yeah it is a uh, stiff shaft I love the golf pride grips um, that are on here I actually put them on all of my irons and uh, my wedges as well but yeah that's um, that's my driver that's probably my most um, expensive investment that I made um, with my with my golf equipment um, aside from probably my golf bag and my golf cart um, which were well over you know this was probably I don't I don't really remember how much my golf bag was but my golf bag is a um, it's a Titleist Pro Staff bag um, I probably shouldn't even be allowed to have it Number one, because normally the stigma with pro staff bags is that you're good at golf or, you know, or you're a pro, which I am the opposite. But I just love the look and it's a great, um, it's a great cart bag. I love it. It's very, you know, there's girth to it. It's, I don't really like the mesh um, cart bags. Um, they just seem very flimsy to me. So I'm glad I got this one because it's going to last me a long time too. Um, as far as my, I use a, I believe it's, I use a hybrid, which is also a covert hybrid. Um, my golf clubs actually really need some, uh, need some cleaning right now. This is also a stiff shaft. Actually, in the epoxy. So yeah, same grips, um, and everything. My irons, I actually got this on sale too, but my irons are, I go from a four iron, all the way to um, a nine iron pitch and wedge, and then I use a title. I use Titleist Bogies, um, a sixty degree wedge, and a Titleist Bogie fifty four degree wedge. Now I used to love um, all the same grips. I used to love the fifty four. I used to hit it from one ten to one fifteen um, and in. Um, so the distances from 115 down, 115 at the most, by the way. Um, I used to use the 54 around the greens quite often. Um, and I used to love it because I used to, I just felt really comfortable with it when I first started. But then recently, as of a couple of months ago, I started to use um, the pitching wedge around the greens more and probably within 40 to, you know, 50 yards and in. Uh, it w and I also used it around the green. Um, it was just something um, about the club head look that made me feel more comfortable to make that transition. So I do love um, using the pitching wedge as of right now for those um, those chip shots and pitch shots, um, opposed to you know chipping it, opening up the club head, um, open up the club face, hitting a, a more uh, a chip shot with more loft on it and I I went through a phase of just using my 60 um, with short distances and even around the uh, the fringe um, and just trying to you know show off and getting a lot of a lot of loft and backspin and have the ball checked up a lot 
but that didn't really work out because if you don't, if you're not playing consistently, those, you know, those lob shots and flop shots, they really, uh, they really go to shit um, because you're not playing consistent. So, you know, you might strike the ball and, you know, hit, get the bottom of the club face. I mean, the club head and hit the middle of the ball and then that ball will go sailing. And so that's what you really want it to do. So that's a that's a huge thing. My favorite iron in the bag is probably, well, it's definitely my eight iron. My irons are hand-me-down irons, and these are irons that I'll take to the grave. Um, they're very old. They're Titleist DC ones or DCIs. Yeah, they're Titleist DCIs. Um, same grips, golf ball grips, and I'll definitely. This is my 150 club, my eight iron. I will uh, take these clubs to the grave because these were my first set of irons um, where they weren't all grab bag irons. I was actually handed these or given these um, by a family member of mine. It's, it was my wife's uh, grandfather that gave me my first set of um, complete irons. And I just, you know, it meant so much because I know how expensive they can get. Um, but even if they're old, I'll just treasure them forever because that's what I started to play with. And I was just so proud of them um, when I first played. Like I had like a sense of confidence, especially um, having like the worst grab bag uh, set of golf clubs. So that was huge for me. Um, next, my putter, I use a mallet putter. It's a Nike Oz um, putter. And for those who are just starting off in golf, a mallet putter means the shape of the club head, it's a bigger shape, like a mallet, you know, um, opposed to the blade, which is the standard, you know, club heads that you normally see on a putter. Now, I want to make a transition if I'm going to get a new putter this coming year to get a blade putter, because I just don't feel confident when I'm looking down at, you know, this um, mallet putter. I don't know why. I mean, I've played with it for such a long time, and... Um, I think it's time to make the switch next season. So maybe that's something I'm gonna invest in. But um, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the blade blade uh, putter or the mallet putter better? Which one do you prefer? I'm curious to know. But um, I got this from uh, one of my best friends. He actually just got engaged uh, a few days ago. It's a Tory Pines uh, putter head cover. And he gave it to me by default uh, because nobody else that uh, we golf with had a mallet putter, uh, so lucky me. But um, yeah, I have Nike. I have a Nike towel. I also have a uh, a Click Gear push cart, old man style. You know, you can't be hurting yourself or putting too much stress on yourself uh, more than you have to. So I'm not gonna act like I'm big and bad because I'm carrying a golf bag, like some of you might make fun of me for for pushing the cart. But we all, everybody that we golf with either saves money and has that push cart or we ride. So it's better than carrying it because, you know, there's no point of putting extra strain on your shoulders and your back for no reason. But yeah, that is my, that's what's in my bag. I also use a, you know, a Nike glove. Nike and Titleist are like my two favorite brands in golf. Um, so I'm glad Jason Day is on the squad now. Um, yeah, so those are my two favorite brands, Nike glove or Titleist glove. Um, a Cal one of the Callaway gloves that I've had before was actually a slip-on with no strap. And I actually liked it, it was very comfortable. I also use a Foot Joy, a Black Foot Joy um, golf glove to practice because you know you don't want to scuff up a nice uh, white game day glove. So I use the black one a lot um, when I'm practicing on the range. But that's what's in the bag as far as golf balls. Um, I like Titleist Pro Vs, but I'm not gonna sit here and you know act like I can afford and play with them all the time. So my for the best bang for my buck, I always use well at least 80 to 90 percent of the time um, uh, Nike Mojos. Twenty dollars for you know what is it? Twenty four balls is the best deal for me because you know. I'm not gonna spend uh, $50 on Pro V's, on a brand new pack of Pro V's that I'm probably gonna shank and lose half of that pack in the front nine. So that is what's in my bag. 
Um, I'm curious to know what's in yours and what are your thoughts on my setup here. Um, give me a comment, like or subscribe and then I would love to hear your feedback on it um, and let me know what you guys got in the bag. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Rav. Thank you for, another, uh, for watching another episode on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Love you. Peace.